a the subject of the formula. So that means we need to get a equals a by itself. So first step, we've got a divide by r here. If we want to get rid of a divide by r, we do the opposite of divide by r. So we multiply both sides by r. So that will give me r a plus 3 equals 2a plus 7. So expanding the bracket, a r plus 3r equals 2a plus 7. Now I need to get the a's on one side and everything else on the other side. So if I take 2a from both sides, I'll have a r minus 2a plus 3r is equal to 7. And then I've got this 3r here. I want that on the other side. So I want the a's on the same side. So I take the 3r from both sides. a r minus 2a is 7 minus 3r. How can I get a by itself? So I've got an a with an r, an a with a, well, a minus 2. I need to factorise it. So I take a outside the bracket, which leaves me with r minus 2 equals 7 minus 3r still. And then this means a times r minus 2. To get rid of a times by r minus 2, I do the inverse of that, the opposite of that, which is dividing by r minus 2. So I divide both sides by r minus 2. And that leaves me with the final answer. So a is equal to 7 minus 3r over r minus 2.